Okay, in this lesson, we want to explain how to export or render an image, still image, from any scene that you want. For example, in this scene, I want to export this image to, for example, a PNG image. For a start, we have to go into media mode. As you can see, now we are in media mode. And in this lesson, I want to teach about, uh, talk about image export. In the next lessons, we explain all of this one by one. Going in image, and here you have to click on this plus to make an image from this scene. Click. And as you can see, we're going to the media mode. Something happened here. We are in the media mode. The screen is in full HD, but you can also open them. And the sitting of the software is turned off. Why? Because we have to uh, change the sitting from this image. You can, for example, go into this part and... Uh, example here and I want to image from this scene again create image and now we have two image click and click we will go on that scene for example in this scene I want to a little come up and when you want to renew this image you have to click on this refresh as you can see this <clears throat> image refresh or for example you want to go here you got to refresh it get okay, back to this scene like on this mode and refresh okay and another image i want to render this flag for explain emotion blur and create image you can easily click on one of them and go into that scene. Okay. Uh, in this three dot, we can rename it. For example, rename it M1. Rename it <clears throat> M2. Or this image, I want to duplicate it to do two image to explain motion blur. One image, no motion blur. One image with motion blur. So... You can delete it or duplicate it. The scene, uh, first name fit, uh, no motion, no motion, blur, and another <coughs> motion blur. Okay. And another thing about these images are this more, and as you can see, this sitting here. A turn up but in a more of each image we have all these settings that in a, that explained you in previous lessons in detail <clears throat> and here you can go back to image and you can uh, exit or quit from medium mode and going to the regular software and editing or anything but when you click on this image, immediately we're going to the media mode. And this is undo, back to media mode. Okay, for example, we're going to the more and we back to media mode. In a more, in each sitting, you can change, uh, in each image, you can change its settings separately. For example, in this image, in more, you can, for example, change GI shadow or the weather. For example, the weather, I turn it to snowy. Going back to the image, as you can see, you go in this image, everything is in summer. For example, uh, in this image, you can go into the more in uh, camera. You can add a vignetting or lens fill, or for example, you can you can go for example in this mode <clears throat> and another create image and in a more uh, in a camera you can turn on perspective field of view. You can change any. 
sitting in that image. Going back to images, in this image, we are in winter, we are in a summer, a flag or this city. Okay, so you learn you can uh, change sitting in any image separately. Very easy. Okay, we going to the summer of this image. I want to render it in the image. Okay, we have some image with this name. And you learn that we are sitting, okay, lighting. You can change the lighting here. Ambient, moon. Um, going in image, I want to duplicate it and make it night. M2, M1, M2, it's here. By clicking and dragging, you can uh, move them everywhere that you want. And rename it to M3, for example. Uh, three, it's not mm, night. Going in a more in a location, you can change the time of the date. For example, in a night, you can change the moon and change the background. For changing the um, in the lighting, you can change the moon intensity or make it down. It's not different. For example, we are in night. Okay, as you can see, we have a separate image in separate sitting. And you can change all of them. Okay, we have uh, five images prepared and we want to export them. To export them, we have to go into export section here. If you want to export images, you have to go in here, panorama, video, or anything. Okay, in a you click in empty, as you can see, you can sorry, you can select that image that you prepared in a previous section. Uh, you can select all or deselect all. This, these are raster image and uh, the image with the past tracer. The, you can show them off or on. You can select one image by clicking on that. As you can see, they are dark and this image is light, it's bright. It means that you select it. And here is uh, tell you that you select one image. Or you can select one image again and the two images selected. And you can export two images, for example. And here show multi. And again, click on them to deselect one of them. Okay, I just uh, export M1 as you can see. And in a more, you can change the export setting. Okay, before that, going to the images. In the images, in a more setting, I forget that. The format. This is uh, external uh, setting that's been added here. It's the format. You can choose any format that you want. Full HD, 4K, or custom. You can... Uh, get, uh, you can turn it to custom and in the more you can type any width and height that you want for example hd mode but the full hd is right for now 2k for hd so don't uh, forget the format in a uh, settings here and the uh, file format of this image is only png it's only png for more quality okay going to the export and here in the more you can change the export setting for all images that you want to export 3d mode 3d mode is like this when you export your image in 3d mode it's the old technology for making uh, image or video in 3d in this 3d mode the images separate into 2d flat image that uh, these two images ha in a position have an offset, a little offset from each other. And you have to look at them with a special uh, glasses like these glasses. So you can uh, feel a little 3D on these images. Not much what you feel. Uh, refinement. Refinement is just only for, for reflection. For example, in this scene, we are in exterior mode, but we don't know to any... any uh, Reflection, refinement, uh, when you turn it on and you can 
set the quality low, medium, high. Uh, use this, of course, use this in, uh, option. Depending on your uh, system, turn it on on quality. It calculate the reflection of other scene that uh, affect you seen uh, the, the scene that you select and you are in and make the reflection very uh, more quality and better. So refinement is just only for reflection. If you want to more realism or reality reflection, turn this option on. And motion blur, I will explain in this, the another image. And max lighting, turn it off. <clears throat> and max lighting. Turn the max lighting on always when you have several images like this that there are in a different lighting. For example, I'm here and you can see I'm for a, I'm in light sunlight and going to the shadow. As you can see, the lighting is changing, it's darking. You can see. This is all about expose that uh, explained in the previous lesson. Refer to them. So when you have uh, some images that they have, click on the integral image, that have a different lighting, a different daylight, you have to turn this option definitely on. Don't forget that. But if you have one image or two images that they are in the same lighting, you know, uh, it's not need to be turned on. Okay, and that's it. Uh, going to the export, when you set the images, start export. When you start export, you have to first select a folder. For example, I uh, put it in a desktop and the name is M1 that I set it before and set it folder and waiting for rendering. And rendering is very fast. And the quality is nice, I think, for me. Okay, waiting for rendering. It's very fast. Okay, finished. Oh, sorry. Going to the desktop. And here is my export. And it's beautiful and high quality in... in in a few seconds okay that's very fast and i like it okay going back and i want to explain motion blur going to this no motion blur <clears throat> we going to the export and select no motion blur deselect that select no motion blur and in a more turn off the motion blur and going back to export and export it to the desktop and waiting to be export. Okay, exported and deselect that and uh, select the motion, for example. And in a more, turn the motion blur on. And this flag is uh, moving. And going to the export and export the motion desktop and waiting to be exported okay this is no motion the motion blur is off as you can see and this is the motion blur on as you can see uh, something like blur occurred here and it shows that this flag is moving and you can turn your motion blur on for more real image Okay, going back to the software and in image, it is done. You can turn it off or on, and as you can see. Okay, it's all about image. In the next lesson, we're going to panorama or panorama image. Okay. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.